and this is where this tornado is going to be going. Uh, it should stay north of Shelton, which sits about right there, and Taylorville. But if just to be on the safe side, be in your safe place at Shelton State Community College and Taylorville until the storm passes to your northwest. In fact, if you're watching us down towards uh, Taylorville and Shelton State, towards Englewood, you can likely look towards the west and northwest and see if there is a tornado with this storm. Uh, so if you do see this, please let us know uh, if there is a tornado with that storm uh, because we'll get that report uh, as soon as we can out to the public because obviously that is a very dangerous uh, situation for the city of Tuscaloosa. Um, Danny, if you want to, Daniel, if you want to quickly pass on a couple more reports. Yeah, just looking at some things going on. Uh, a new tornado warning for Blunt, Jefferson, and Walker County until 6 o'clock. They've actually uh, confirmed a large and extremely dangerous tornado near Cordova. Uh, lots of people looking with their eyes on this storm right now. So the National Weather Service being uh, very serious about the storm uh, moving to the northeast at 60 miles per hour. That's uh, up in Walker County. That's that storm that went across. Ooh, big strike of lightning there on tower cam. Yeah, let's let's check out our tower camera right Super. now. Incredible lightning display. Looks some uh, cloud to ground lightning there. Yeah, lots of cloud to ground lightning and that is a bad sign when we're detecting severe storms. Uh, we're looking off towards the west an incredible lightning display uh, with these storms. If you're outside, hey, take shelter now. Uh, the lightning is a big threat with these storms and uh, if it wasn't for these raindrops on the lens we might be able to see if there's anything back here because there's a a suspicious area we're watching back to the southwest of Tuscaloosa if somebody out back wants to climb up our tower and wipe <laughs> the, the <laughs> our director over there is saying she'll do it uh, no uh, obviously we don't want you to do that but we're seeing some ominous look towards our tower camera looking south and west towards where the possible tornado would be and let me show you in reference to where we're talking about. Uh, that's right here. Uh, this will be your possible tornado. Uh, lots of lightning right here in front of the tornado itself. And again, if you're outside, take shelter now. Don't take a chance with a storm. We're looking live from the University of Alabama campus at what could be a tornado moving into the city of Tuscaloosa. I know there's some raindrops on the lens, but that would be right there where our tornado would be located. I think we're looking at at least a wall cloud and potentially a tornado uh, again, from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera uh, location, we're looking west. Uh, Daniel, if you have any more reports, uh, pass those along to you. I'm going to kind of look at this feature back to the southwest. I will. National Weather Service continuing this uh, tornado warning for Fayette, Lamar, and Marion County until 545. Still just indicating a thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado, but it, they're calling a dangerous storm located five miles to the west of Sulgent and moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Yeah, this could be a tornado right here moving into the city of Tuscaloosa. It's hard to see, but once this gets closer to it, we'll have a better vantage point of what we're looking at. Uh, there's definitely a lowering right here on your screen if you follow that along with us. And this could be what we're looking at, a potential tornado uh, moving into Tuscaloosa. If you're just now joining us, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott along with WVUA's Daniel Sparkman and the entire WVUA news team watching a dangerous situation across the city of Tuscaloosa. What could be a tornado off to the southwest from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera, no doubt about it. A very low base to the clouds and potentially a tornado uh, to the south and west of us right now. Okay, Green and Pickens County have been dropped through a warning. National Weather Service and spotters are tracking a large and extremely dangerous torna tornado. This is located near Jenna. Uh, All right, so we're looking possibly at a large tornado coming into the city of Tuscaloosa. This is an emergency situation for the city of Tuscaloosa, the University of Alabama campus. They're saying this is a large tornado, possibly a wedge tornado. Uh, we're again looking at incredible lightning display out ahead of this, and this thing. this is a tornado emergency for Ralph Foster's Interstate 2059, Taylorville, and the city of Tuscaloosa. All right, we're looking at a wedge tornado right now, live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera. Here's Bright Denny Stadium. We're located on the University of Alabama campus. If you are in downtown, Town, Tuscaloosa, get underground, uh, get in a safe place right now. If you have a storm shelter, get in that. If you're in a mobile home, get out of that immediately. Again, we're looking at a large wedge tornado on the west side of Tuscaloosa, moving into the city of Tuscaloosa right now. If you're just now joining us, you're watching WVUA TV. We're in live severe weather coverage, watching a large wedge tornado moving into Tuscaloosa as we speak. And again, this is going to be moving into University of Alabama campus very shortly. Get in your safe place. I cannot stress the urgency of this storm. This is an emergency situation for downtown Tuscaloosa. We're going to stay on air as long as we can uh, before this tornado itself moves over us. Uh, it looks like it's going to be moving over us pretty shortly. 
Uh, again, we're looking live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera on the University of Alabama campus at a tornado right now. Okay. Uh, Daniel, if you want to get that, uh, we're talking to several storm spotters and EMA officials out there. Uh, again, we're looking at a tornado right there just to the west and southwest of Tuscaloosa uh, coming up on the University of Alabama campus here pretty shortly. Uh, I'm looking at several different sources here, kind of uh, dissecting what exactly we're looking at here in terms of rotation within a storm. I've also got home team interactive radar pulled up to the side here. And uh, again, if you're watching us on the west side of town, that includes the University of Alabama campus in downtown Tuscaloosa, where it looks like we have a large tornado possibly on the ground moving into downtown Tuscaloosa. And we're getting reports, uh, obviously, from the National Weather Service office in Birmingham. Uh, we're located on the University of Alabama campus, so this thing is actually coming uh, right towards our television station and towards the University of Alabama campus. And again, we're looking at potentially a large tornado uh, moving our way. I, I don't mean to frighten you, but you need to know this is an urgent situation for Tuscaloosa. Daniel, you have another report? Yeah, a storm spotter. We just had a little power hit here at the station. Hopefully all our microphones are still working. Um, if you could go call him, Chris Montgomery, storm spotter, is going to try to do a phoner with us. He said he's sitting at McFarland Mall and can see the what he said he can only confirm a wall cloud right now, but it's at least half mile to a three quarter of a mile wide. And this is uh, trained. He said he knows you, uh, Chris. Yeah, uh, I know him personally. Yeah. He's a storm spotter. And he's a reliable source looking at this feature right here. And we're going to stay on air as long as we can. Uh, obviously, a lot of lightning in place, and we just took a quick power hit. But we're looking at what could be a wedge tornado, uh, possibly a mile wide, if a little bit less, moving towards downtown Tuscaloosa. And that does include the University of Alabama campus. Again, I'm meteorologist Richard Scott. We're watching live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera on the University of Alabama campus uh, what appears to be a very large tornado just to the west of town and this thing is coming our way so look if you're watching us again on campus downtown Tuscaloosa get in that safe place get underground if you can uh, get in the basement if you're a mobile home get out of that right now don't take a chance with this thing this is obviously a very dangerous situation where we're looking at the potential for a wedge uh, tornado we could be looking at right now from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera, just kind of getting different perspectives of this storm. And this does include the city of Tuscaloosa, incredible lightning display. A lot of thunder that we're hearing here in the studio. Too. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear this over our microphones, but we're listening to an incredible amount of lightning, or listening to an incredible amount of thunder uh, from this storm. And we're just trying to get a good perspective of this tornado itself, what appears to be a tornado on the ground and again uh, we don't want to frighten you at all we just want to let you know the urgency of this storm and uh, of what is coming towards Tuscaloosa we're just going to kind of pan the skies there and it's no doubt that feature right there in the middle of your screen is what we're looking at and it's hard to tell if this is a wedge tornado or not it's a lot of rain involved and it looks like uh, it could have possibly be lifting. Uh, hopefully that's the case. We're trying to get a good perspective of this thing and, and it's simply hard to tell right now uh, because this thing's still uh, uh, several miles outside of the city of Tuscaloosa and Northport. And again, we've got several reports coming in of, of a tornado on the ground back in uh, southwest part of Tuscaloosa County. This is what's coming up on the city of Tuscaloosa. Really looks like the... And yeah, it looks like it's lifting. And again, we're looking right into this thing. And yeah, it looks like this thing uh, could be trying to lift. Okay, we got Chris All right, we got Chris on the phone. Right, we're going to go to Chris right now. He's got an update from McFarland Boulevard, I believe, uh, of what is happening just to our west. Yeah, I said he was at McFarland Mall. Chris? Okay, McFarland Mall. Chris, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, just a second. Can you hear me? Uh, Chris, we can't. Okay, go okay, ahead. yeah, go ahead, Chris. What do you see? Uh, we're sitting right here at the McFarland Mall, right beside the interstate, up on the hill, where we got a good vantage point. Uh, right now, it looks like it's lifted. Uh, there's definitely still a wall cloud. Uh, you can still sort of see the rear flank downdraft right now. Um, it did uh, produce a second funnel at one point. Second funnel lifted about two minutes ago, but it appears that it is coming uh, basically right up Skyland Boulevard. Um, 
parallel with the uh, interstate. Okay, Chris, yeah, what we're looking at from our tower camera, it, it appeared that there was a, at least a fairly sizable tornado on the ground here a moment ago, and it appears that it is lifting for the moment, but uh, it's a very close call. Again, we're talking a tornado emergency for the city of Tuscaloosa. It uh, looks like we have another cone possibly coming down uh, towards the ground. Chris, can you confirm this? Yes, I, I can confirm that. It does look like it's starting to come back down again. It looks like it's about halfway down at this point. Yeah, uh, like it I looks like it. we may be about to have a large tornado back down. Um, again, we're looking live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera at this perspective as well. And uh, Chris, you're located at McFarland Mall, is that right? Correct, right next to the interstate. Okay, this is where, again, we're looking at it live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera, so we're getting a great perspective of this thing right now. And it appears that it's not on the ground at this second, but, I mean, that could change at any time. Uh, Chris, if you see any more, uh, any damage, if you'll please call us back and uh, let us know. Yes, we will. Hey, thank you so much, Chris. Thank you. All right, again, that was uh, Chris. Uh, uh, he is monitoring a dangerous situation in Tuscaloosa County. We're watching uh, what appears to be at least a funnel cloud, a large lowering off towards the distance. And, and at one point... Oh, looks like there's a rope going... Yeah. Uh, it looks like this thing's trying to touch back down. In fact, uh, from our perspective, it does look like this tornado is touching down now. It looks like there is a condensation funnel trying to reach the surface. And again, uh, what you're looking at is live from a Tuscaloosa Tower camera. This is a large funnel, and it could be reaching the ground right now just to the west of the University of Alabama campus. This is coming directly our way towards UA campus and downtown Tuscaloosa. So again, get in the lowest floor of your home, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. Uh, this is definitely a dangerous situation. A tornado is definitely, uh, looks like it's now touching down just to the west of Tuscaloosa. Yeah, we see power flashes. So we have an emergency situation. This tornado is now on the ground. It looks like it's a now sizable tornado. We're watching live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera. Get in your safe place right now. We have a tornado on the ground. Again, we're watching live from our Tuscaloosa Tower camera, looking to the southwest side of uh, Tuscaloosa. Uh, there's Bryant Denny Stadium at the bottom of your screen, and this looks to be a fairly sizable tornado. Uh, it, it keeps flirting with the ground. It, it lifts back up and then it touches back down, and there's no doubt this thing has made contact with the ground and may still, and definitely still is in contact with the ground. We're going to kind of pan around with our Tuscaloosa Tower camera. Again, this is coming right towards our television station. Anybody outside? If you see anybody outside, tell them to get inside right now. Uh, this is a very large and sizable tornado coming right towards the city of Tuscaloosa and the University of Alabama campus. Again, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott. If you're just now joining us, we're watching an emergency situation for a very large tornado coming into downtown Tuscaloosa. That includes the University of Alabama campus. Uh, this could be a very life-threatening And again, a large tornado right here to the southwest side of town. And again, this is coming directly our way, folks, towards our television station. We're going to stay on air as long as we possibly can until our power is obviously cut if this thing comes our way. And that appears to be what's happening right now. Daniel, if you have anything you want to pass along quickly. Uh, trying to, the National Weather Service isn't getting any, anything from this storm. Just a couple of more reports. Down near uh, York, they're confirming a tornado on the ground by local law enforcement, so we'll have to worry about that storm here shortly. Green Hill and Sumter County being affected until 545, but we're watching a tornado on the ground here in the city of Tuscaloosa right now. All right, this is a life-threatening situation. Get underground if you can. Get in the lowest floor of your home. We have a very large tornado coming right into the center part of Tuscaloosa. This includes our television station. This includes the University of Alabama campus. Uh, this is a very large tornado coming directly our way. And uh, if you want to get everybody out of the hallway and into uh, our studio, if that is a possibility, because uh, this is definitely a life-threatening situation. We're watching a large wedge tornado uh, coming our way. Again, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott just now joining us. We're watching a very deadly large tornado coming right towards yeah, the University can now of see Alabama campus. We got Chris on the phone. Let's go to him real quick. As All we right, Chris, see. we got him on the phone. Chris, yes, we're here. talk to Wedge us. tornado coming into Tuscaloosa. Yeah, we had the tornado on the ground. It's inside um, probably about a mile and a half from us right now. It looks like it's going to go just north of the interstate. 
Uh, looks like it's actually going to come around the uh, University Mall, so everybody in that area needs to stay covered. DCH needs to stay covered, too. All right, this thing's coming right towards the University of Alabama campus. We're going to stay on air as long as we possibly can. Uh, we're getting power glitches. Again, I'm Chief Meteorologist Richard Scott. We're watching a deadly situation for the city of Tuscaloosa. A very large tornado on the ground right now.